Hello YouTubers, today I am going to discuss about motor driver board. It consists of IC L293D. It is used for the devices which run at higher voltage or need high current. Example, uh, DC motor. Now I am going to tell you about L293D. It has 16 pin. Uh, it consists of 2 edge bridge which control a set of two DC motors simultaneously in any direction. H bridge is a circuit which allows the current to flow in either direction. H bridge has four switches S1, S2, S3, S4. These are the five conditions that arise. First one is clockwise, anti-clockwise, second one is anti-clockwise, third one is break, fourth one is short and fifth one is cost. The first condition is when S1 S4 is closed when this and this closed so current start flowing from moving from this direction and move and take take the path this so motor start moving in clock direction that I written here and when the condition is and the condition when the switch second and switch third is closed when this switch and this switch is closed so current take a path this one so motor start moving in anti clockwise direction and the third case is that when the switch s1 and s3 is closed means switch s1 s3 is closed or when switch s2 or s4 is closed so what happened the voltage drop here will be same so motor does not move it remain it remain in in a stop condition and the short condition is occur when S1 S2 is closed or S3 S4 closed so the this one is a short condition this one is for the short condition and the last one is that when the all switches are open so whatever the condition previous condition of motor motor move according to that Now I am going to tell you about the pin description of L293D. Pin number 16 is used to enable the whole IC and generally we give here 5 volt. Pin number 1 is used to enable this side of IC, give 5 volt. Pin number 9 is used to enable this side of IC and here, here also give 5 volt. Pin number 2 and pin number 7 is an input pins which are connected to the microcontroller. Pin number 3, pin number 6 are output pins which are connected to output device for example DC motor. Pin number 4, pin number 5 is connected to ground. This side are work similarly to this side. Similar to this side. Pin number 8 is used for motor supply and generally we give here 12 volt and uh, maximum we can give here 36 volt. Now I am going to tell you about the hardware connection of L293D. This is our 12 volt battery. Positive terminal connected to this point and negative terminal is connected to this point. So this point become our circuit 12 volt and this point become our circuit ground. Now I have to make uh, 5 volt so I have taken from Arduino 5 volt and make this point 5 volt and the ground is connected to our circuit ground now I am going to tell you about the IC connection pin number 1, pin number 16 and pin number 9 are shorted and connect this point to 5 volt and pin number 8 I given 12 volt from our circuit 12 volt and pin number 2 and pin number 7 is for input so these two uh, pins are connected to our Arduino pin number 9 and 10 and pin number 3 and pin number 6 is for output pin output pins so this is connected to our motor DC motors D DC motor and uh, the pin number 4 and pin number 5 is for ground so 
this ground is connected to our circuit ground so i am going to run single motor first i am going to run single motor so this is the circuit that we made pin number 1 16 and 9 are connected to 5 volt pin number 8 is given the 12 volt supply the output devices are connected to 36 14 10 and input are given to 27 15 and 10 sorry the output was connected to 11 and 14 and pin number 12 13 4 5 are grounded so the circuit looks like this this when we are running a single motor with the help of a battery and arduino the pin number 3 and 4 are given into the input terminals of the l293 so the code is going to look like this i will make three functions void clockwise anti clockwise stop we are going to demonstrate all the three directions in which the motor can move that is in the clockwise direction anti clockwise direction and it is going how to stop the motor void setup is the segment of the code which runs only once so we are going to set the pin modes here pin mode means that we are going to define how the pin is going to be used for example pin number 3 and 4 are going to be used as output pins and they are going to go to pin n7 of l293d the input pins of the ic in void loop i have called each functions once and given a delay of 5 seconds that is the motor is going to run in one direction for 5 seconds and then in the other direction for other 5 seconds and then it is going to stop for 5 seconds and then this process will repeat continuously void loop is just like while one so now we are going to move to the functions that i have made void clockwise in this i have given pin number 3 as high and pin number 4 is low and given a very small delay pin number 3 as high is going to give 5 volts to the ic and 4 will go give 0 volts creating a 5 volt potential difference hence giving the motor a 12 volt potential difference in void anti clockwise i have given pin number 3 as low and pin number 4 as high so what this will do is that is going to give a 12 volt potential difference to the motor in the opposite direction and thus the motor is going to move in the reverse direction for stopping the motor we can either give low to each pins or high to each pins and this can be implemented for two motors as well for running a bot which has two motors you can make your own functions by defining uh, how to make the straight function the left function the right function and the stop function